Alright, what's up guys, it's Yuri here, and today I have for you a very late deck profile if you're on the JP side, but a very um, a very relevant deck profile if you're on, if you're on the global side, and we're playing on the show of Aquaforce today, so Aquaforce, set 2, got their support, Lambros, Broken Guard, if you have already, already figured that out, uh, so uh, yeah, figured to do that profile for it, so without further ado, here is the list. So uh, uh, first, first thing before I even go over all the cards, uh, if you're a global player, uh, you're using season cards that you don't have here. So uh, I'm just gonna say uh, you you just cut these out for title boards and Aristotle, then the yeah, Aristotle, the Tripura Stride. So just swap just swap those out for as many as you have. Uh, ideally, if you're global, it's two title boards, uh, two Aristotle. Uh, I wish I had a second title board, but I don't. So I'm playing two of the Socrates. But if you're um, if you're looking at this next month with the, with the Fires Collection stuff. And you do have two title board, just cut one of the Socrates for the second title board if you want to make the optimal G zone. So that's just something to note. Uh, so for the, without further ado, we'll go through the rest of the list now. First off, starter, Eric. Uh, generic grade 3 searcher starter. So uh, CB1, put the soul, check that 5, add grade 3 to hand. You play it because you it lets you search your main ride, helps you search your Diaz to extent to do your uh, multi attack combos. Uh, you can, help, can maybe snipe the one max off the top to uh, extend your kill turn. So. Very good starter. The GB1 starter, in my opinion, just a win harder card, so that's why I personally do not play it myself. Uh, so that's it for the starter. Grade 1. Uh, the super standard stuff, uh, counter charge PG, stride fodder. No reason not to play 4 of these. Uh, so you know, the actual grade ones that you have choice in is uh, the last 5 slots. 4 of them for me go towards the Tactic Sailor. Um, uh, this card's skill is when this unit's attack that it boosted hits a Vanguard, it's the 4th battle of more of that turn, drawing cards, so. This plus the, the usual play is this plus Algos means you uh, can draw uh, two cards off of that on that one hit. So gets you a bunch of draw power, help you draw into your pieces, help you draw PGs, guards, whatever. Uh, so very good card. No reason not to play this card. I think this card is a mandatory form in this deck. Definitely better than your other choices. So yeah, really good card. Never being no reason not to play four of it. Uh, and then the last one, the last card, just the one for me is the uh, is the. Uh, not Blue Wave, uh, Brave Shooter. Brave Shooter, uh, tank attacker. Hit skill is a uh, front, front row rear circle. If you have one or less other rested rear, it's going to get plus 3k. So, what this card basically does, it's just a solo attacker. You can have it swing solo into something. Usually, this card just like something you can swap with the Baz or Dia just to uh, swing, an swing into an intercept unboosted. So, pretty nice card. That's it for the Great Ones. Onward to the Great Two. Over all the old cards first. First off, we have good old Basil. This skill is, uh, we don't already know. Um, uh, first off, I'll go over the second skill first, it's, this is more relevant, uh, or it's easier to go through it from uh, from this order, so once per turn you can CB1 to have um, him gain the skill of being able to ignore intercepts since the first battle of the turn, so uh, you uh, just pay the Sanger Blast, Battle Blade, and this thing can just swing at Vanguard immediately, so there's that, and then his other skills, when, when, if it's the first battle of that turn, and this unit's attacking Vanguard, you can, it gets plus 3k, at, at the end of the battle, swap with the thing behind it, so. If you don't know, the, the usual hammer of Aquaforce, they usually have either this guy or the Diamantes, which is the exact same thing but a grade 3. Uh, you play this down, you put something else behind it that can usually swing by itself. Uh, Basil swings at Vanguard, uh, after paying one for the counter boss to uh, ignore the intercepts. And then the swaps, you have the that thing swing, and you have the other side swing, and that's what gets you to a 4 attack. So. Uh, you do really need your enablers in this deck, so uh, no reason not to play 4 of this card. It sucks that it's an AK base, but you, you kind of have to play this just because... Uh, you need to be able to make sure you have enablers if they get end up being um, popped by retires or something like that. So that's why we play for this guy. Uh, next for Algos, hit skill is uh, Vanguard Rear. Uh, when this unit attack hits, if it's the fourth battle more of that turn, draw one, and then uh, uh, if it's the fourth battle more of that turn, when this unit attacks the Vanguard, if it's the fourth battle or more of that turn, you can see we want to get 5k power. So basically, you can use this just to scale bigger to make sure that uh, you get the draw off of this. So. Like I said, uh, both, uh, fourth, needs 4th battle, needs 4th battle. If this column hits on the 4th battle, you get to draw 2. Very nice, and because it has the extra 5 good power you can pay for the counter blast, uh, power is usually not an issue for the most part. So, very good card. Uh, the one of is the Valeria, which is the same thing as the Algos, except instead of a draw, you gotta retire. This deck values its draws more than retiring your points card, so that's why you opt to play um, 4 Algos instead. The one Valeria is just here as just an extra something that can scale that has a cool second effect, like the, the retire is neat and all, but really you're only playing this because it's it's a fifth card that you can play that uh, gets 5k power on that on that fourth battle, which is pretty nice, so that's why that's the one of. And finally, the last four of is a new card, it is the High Tide Sniper, so his skill is uh, GB1, if it's the third battle or more of that turn, you can, um, when this unit attacks, if it's the 
third battle or more of that turn, you can Soul Blast 1, get 5k power. So, something to note here, this thing does not need to swing at Vanguard to get the 5k power. So, if your opponent has a, let's say, a 10k intercept, you can go, uh, like, uh, have this behind, have this in a column of the Valdordia. Swing, swap it, swing the other column first, or other side, other lane first, whether boost or unboost it into the other card. And then have this swing into the said 10k to uh, conserve the booster on the other side and still kill 10k off without needing to be like a great three or something to kill the great uh, the uh the the oh bigger than 9k and stuff so that's they're really good and because the skill isn't a once per turn you can actually use this more than once in a turn it's like for example if you needed to do that to kill the intercept off and then you also stood it again and it needs and a swing at vanguard you need more power you can actually use the skill again so that's really good so Basically, the, to sum it up, the Great Two Line is basically four swappers and uh, nine scalers, which is uh, basically what all this deck is, just a bunch of things that swap, and then stuff against power, like, so you can make sure your hit attacks hit, so yeah. That's it for the Great Twos, Great th or Great Threes, I guess, triggers would be uh, four heal cards, you know, really not to play these, uh, heal cards, heal cards, which they help you live. Uh, pretty good, especially in a deck that draws a bunch of cards like this, so no reason not to play four of these. Uh, four Dia, like I said, four, it's the same thing as the, as the Basil. Um, CB1 to swap, or CB1 to ignore intercept, and then it can swap. And it, when it swings the Vanguard, it can get 3k, so it can actually hit, so. No reason not to play 4 of this card, it's your best enabler, because it also starts off the Eric, so really good. And then uh, finally, the new cards, the 1 max, so his skill is GB1. Uh, at the end of the battle, this unit attacks the Vanguard. If it's a third battle or more on that turn, you can CB1 to give one of your units plus 2k and then swap it. So, um, if you have this card on your kill turn, what the kill turn usually looks like is uh, your board will be, your Vanguard will be Lambros because that's the, the main card you kill with. Uh, you have a column of some sort, so usually it'd be like a, usually it'd be a Tactic Sailor plus like whatever 9k, and then your other column would be a Swapper, so either Basil or Dia, with Max behind it to swap, and then uh, behind your Vanguard would be something that can actually hit the Vanguard uh, with the plus 2k power from the Max, so. So usually you just slam like a grade 3 behind it, or you slam like one of the grade 2s behind it to actually let it hit. Uh, grade 2 being not bad because he only would only hit 10k, so... Uh, what the uh, turn will look like with the max would be uh, swap, assuming there are 5, uh, swap, or Basil Dia hit Vanguard, swap with the max, max swings unboosted. Uh, ideally the other column swings unboosted, Lambro swings, uh, Lambro skill, and a Persona Flip, restand the max and the other column. Uh, and then you go uh, Max into Vanguard. Use Max's skill to swap the thing with, to swap him with the thing behind the Vanguard. Have that swing, and have your other boosted column swing into it for the last attack. Because that would, would be your biggest column. So this card is here as a attack, ex as a kill turn extender. If heal cards didn't exist, this card would be a four. This card is really good, but in the current build, uh, Dia is more important because Dia is your uh, main, uh, is your uh, best uh, swap, your best swapper, and Thabas is your main ride. So. You only have space for one of these, unfortunately, but you will play it because it's a really good card. And finally, the last grade 3 is the Thabas. His skill is GP2 if it's a 4th battle of that turn. Um, uh, he, he gets a crit, and your opponent guard, cannot guard with grade 0. Um, this is basically irrelevant because you're always striding in this deck. And then his other skill is um, Stride Bonus. The Stride Bonus is when your unit strides on top of it. That unit gets... Um, what When a unit attacks... If it's the fourth battle or more of that turn, choose three of your opponent's rear guards and retire one of those chosen three at random. So basically, what this card reads: uh, if you if you manage to hit the fourth attack, you can retire one. You can retire one random rear guard. You feel a back row, so it's okay. Sniping boost is never a bad thing, and then uh, on right plus three K. So pretty standard stuff. Not the best stride bonus. Definitely not amazing, but you play it because uh, it does something when you try. So you get you get a little bit of extra off of it. So. That's how you play it. That's it for the main deck. Uh, strides. So I'm playing the one harmonics unlocks. I'm not going to go over this. Uh, helps with the link joker matchup. Not the best thing because uh, you are giving up on a Lambros turn to do it. But if you need to do it, if you need to unlock, you need to unlock. So I guess we play the one of it. Socrates. Uh, his skill is uh, when your unit attacks, if it's a third or more battle turn, you can see you want to give that unit plus 5k. Uh, so this game works multiple times, and it has something at Vanguard, and your rears, and it's not when this unit attacks, it's when anything attacks, so you, your theory, you can use this with an Algos or a, on an Algos turn to make sure you hit over like double defensive or something, so. Small niche there, but it's not honestly that amazing, I'd only play as a one if I've had a second title board, but I don't, so that's not going to do it for just for now, just to fill in slots. Speaking of title board, his skill is, when this unit attack hits a Vanguard, it's a third battle more of that turn. 
draw a card and call a card from your hand to rear. The call is optional, so uh, you can usually uh, you, you check for all the defenses first, and then and then if you're, you know your rear can hit because you know you checked for the triggers already, you can call a card to have that unit swing. So usually, what the turn looks like if one doesn't have double intercept, it would be like a uh, because uh, for the most part, most decks cannot maintain double intercept that early in the game. So uh, what usually looks what usually this your strategy turn this looks like it's like a uh, uh, a swap or something to swap into, swap. Uh, that thing swings a vanguard. Swap. Uh, that thing swings at the inter at like usually like a single intercept. Vanguard swings. You do a drive check. So you draw a card, and then your other column is usually like a tactic sailor just by itself in the back row with nothing in front of it. And then after checking for the triggers and stuff, you would, uh, depending on whether or not, call something to that column to swing with. So and that's usually what this turn looks like. And finally, the most important card in this deck, a card that I will say you need a 4-up to play this deck. I honestly think that if you only have 2 of it, do not bother, it's a waste of time. This deck absolutely needs 4 of this card, the Lambros. And skill is, when this unit attacks a GB2, when this unit attacks a Vanguard, if it's a 4th battle or more of that turn, uh, Persona flip to stand 2 for it, and those units get plus 5k. So, uh, again, I went over it with the max, but the kill turn is usually something like swap, uh, rear to rear, rear to rear, Vanguard to Vanguard, stand 2, and then those 2 swing again, so... Bunch of extra attacks, 5k helps to scale, very good, no reason not to play this card. This card is the reason why this deck is so good to begin with, because of the super high kill ceiling of this card, so... Very, very powerful, very, very powerful card, and the reason why this deck is good to begin with, so yeah. So, that's it for the deck profile deck profile part of it. Uh, I'll have some games for you guys after this, as per usual. Uh, like and subscribe, all the good subs, let me know what you think about this deck down below in the comments, and I will see you guys next time, peace out.